Hey everybody and welcome back to Color and Rue. This is Bunny. And in this uh, coloring section, session, we are um, back in the Alice in Wonderland coloring book. Um, so this book has a couple of pages that kind of repeat. And um, what it is is that one page I have the full image and then another page I have a cropped um, section of that image and that is what this page is there is another image of her whole body holding him um, with a couple of animals in the background but I wanted something easy something really quick um, so I chose this um, image image here um, I am in the watercolor palette again and um, I'm really loving watercolor it, it just makes it so much faster um, pencils um, I'm not giving up on pencils I just bought um, uh, within like the last month or two I just bought a 150 count of uh, Prismacolors and then um, Amazon ended up having a lightning sale of the 132 of the Prismacolors and I got those as well um, Plus, I still haven't opened up my, I think it's 200 um, count of Arteza's. So, I have pencils I need to use. So, I'm not giving up on pencils. I'm just really liking watercolor right now. Um, I will be also getting more watercolor because <laughs> that's not going anywhere. I really enjoy it. Um, um, I will be trying out that um, gouache and um, I want to uh, try some um, chalk pastels, um, just some other mixed medias uh, as well and maybe just combine things and, and, and we'll see how it goes but right now I'm really loving the watercolor uh, but in this set is 42 um, which is it's limited um, it's a lot of reds in this um, in this set but there isn't any pinks so um, I had to mix it uh, so the last tray of this palette you see how on the side here you get these little um, trays they look like the little paint swatch cards from um, when you go to Home Depot or a paint store to go get paint for your house well their trays and the last one is um, to mix your colors on and so I used that last tray to mix in some white to make pink and then also uh, when you use water on uh, watercolor obviously you can lighten that color if you keep adding um, water to that color it'll dilute it a little bit um, what I like about watercolor is that it reactivates. What I don't like about watercolor is that it reactivates. <laughs> and sometimes it works well for you and then other times it does not. Um, and it worked well for the flamingo, but then it kind of worked against me when I got to um, Alice. Um, how... Uh, I did not record the page. Um, I did not record the page where I did Alice in a Fierce Skin Tone. Um, if you want to see that, um, it will be posted on on my Instagram. Um, and it, I do have a Facebook group. I just. I'm horrible at promoting myself and promoting this channel, but there has been a Facebook group for the longest time. Uh, I, I, I had stopped being active on Facebook, so obviously that group wasn't active at the time, but as I'm getting back into um, this channel, I'm also getting back into um, updating that group. Um, so. I, I will post it on the Facebook group, but I always post on um, Instagram. Instagram is 
my uh, particular favorite uh, app. <coughs> Excuse me. These allergies, y'all, is, is really getting to me. So anyway, um, uh, the Flamingo um, came out really well. And then um, I decided to do a uh, yellow uh, background with some clouds. Um, I, I, you don't never really, I don't know why I like yellow backgrounds so much because like... <laughs> <laughs> you don't really see a whole yellow sky. Um but like I it 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 reads as sunshine for me, right? It's it reads as a br a bright uh <laughs> for it, it's like that song, a bright shiny day. Like that that's that's what yellow does for me so um i wanted to do that in this picture something simple i didn't want a blue background because like i said this is a cropped picture of another um image and um that i'm pretty sure uh, if i can think on it has water and so the water will be blue and even though i can do the sky blue as well i'm gonna do the sky yellow to you know keep it um the same so um in this clip here i am putting in that yellow sunshine background with uh, some fluffy white clouds and trying to darken up some areas to make it uh, those clouds kind of not pop but look a little more um, cloud like uh, clouds for me I love doing clouds once I figured out how to do clouds I, and I love to do clouds and um it really works well with watercolor because when you put down the color and you fan it out, it naturally kind of graniates. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I said that word right, but y'all know what I mean. Um, and I, I really like that. So um, it worked well in this particular instance. Um, and then after I um, was okay with the sky, I started working on Alice herself. Um, in this, there is cropped, like I said, so you don't really get uh, a lot of her dress. So I didn't focus on it because the, the front of her dress, <coughs> excuse me, is an apron and that and it's white. So I didn't bother even coloring in the bottom part because, again, it's cropped. So only really had to worry about her sleeves in the, the top part, which I realized after was actually part of that apron, I think. But, you know, oh well. Um, as you're going to see in a minute, once I'm satisfied with this... Uh, this uh, sky I'm going to start um, in on Alice so give me a quick second and we'll get to that in a second
so now we're um, working on Alice in the skin tone and of course uh, doing her in a darker skin tone that is my thing and I really want to figure out um, darker skin tones with uh, paint and I struggle I've been struggling with that um, I'm pretty good with pencils when it comes to darker skin tones, um, but I struggle with um, paints. And so I really wanted to do uh, work, uh, figure that out. And I figured this book is um, a good book to experiment in because this particular page, Alice actually looks okay. <laughs> but if you have this book, um, then you know. If you don't have this book, you will see as we go through these pages that Alice kind of looks funky <laughs> in these images. She, is, my girl, is is is, is she struggling? She's it, it, she's struggling. Let's just put it like that. So I figured I wanted to look its best, but. Um, a lot of the pages in here when it comes to how Alice looks yeah so I, I figured I could really just practice my skin tones on that and so that's what I'm uh, um, uh, I'm gonna do in this book and like I said I did a, a decent fair skin tone with this color palette which shocked the crap out of me um, it wasn't great, but it is the best I've done thus far as far as um, fair skin tones. Um, this one here with the darker skin tone, um, it was okay. But then that's when um, the con of being to reactivate uh, the paint became an issue because as I wanted to darken her up, the layer underneath would be, would, uh, be re-wet and then it would splotch it. And so um, what I think I'm going to have to do is just become more bold with my color selection and hope that that works and just the dark areas that I want dark start off dark from the jump and um, not try to blend it out like I did here so if you look um, the hair not so much um, upset about because I don't care about the splashiness it looks okay uh, but you see how I try to layer because I'm a layer and blend type person <laughs> very but um, I, I think I have to learn how to get out of that uh, but if you look at her skin tone you see that I went over um, her skin all of her skin with this uh, it's a if if you see on the corner here that light brown color it is I guess you would call it it, it would be close to a yellow ochre maybe it is a yellowish brown or a brownish yellow <laughs> um, but I went in with that and I went all over and then I went in with the color underneath it that has a little more of a reddish tint to it and obviously a little bit darker and I did the layers like that but then um, once I went to get to the dark dark skin tones that's when I started having issues with it um, coming back because then when you add more water it was starting to also lift up the color where I wanted it darker so then I had to dab on um, color in, off camera but um, so if I had to add pink at this stage I think I would have made a decent medium tone maybe like an olive tone now that I look at it I might have to keep that in my uh, 
back pocket, so to speak. <clears throat> but then I decided to go ahead and just keep on um, darkening up the skin tone with uh, various shades of, of, of the brown. Um, and then uh, one thing that you learn quickly when working with watercolor is to jump over if you want to continue to work on your piece on your page to jump around so that things dry as you're working on something else so then that's why I went to the sleeves and tried to put it in the color on that while the skin um, dried a bit and because it's summertime and it's hot in here and I have fans on and I have the AC on <laughs> it dried fairly quickly um, so I, I went back and forth with that and you you let because you need the areas to dry a little bit otherwise it is definitely going to lift um, color is going to give you problems with your page um, possibly peeling. I didn't have any peeling problems with this. This paper is actually really good um, and uh, on the thicker side of things and so it takes the watercolor um, fairly well. Um, I don't know about alcohol markers I'm pretty sure it will still bleed through even though this is thicker paper I'm pretty sure it will bleed through um, but there isn't an image on the other side of the page it's just um, writing and I'm pretty sure there's no double page spreads in this book so if you want it if you have it and you want or you find it and you want to do um, alcohol markers as long as you're not you know um what, what, uh, bothered by it showing through on the other side then you know you can use your alcohol markers and what i would say is like um uh, well the most of them, the image goes all the way to the bottom, and sometimes the right is on the bottom. Because I was going to say you can paint over that white part and do something else, but you it's not always possible to be able to save that page if you do the alcohol marker on the other side. But like I said, there's, there's, I don't think there's any double page spread. So if you don't mind seeing the alcohol on the opposite side, then... Um, you could definitely use it in this book. So here is where I am trying to darken her up in certain areas. And becoming frustrated with um, the lifting of the color, especially the cheek area. Like... Um, she she like like right here it looks pretty good but it's that nose area too like i wanted it to look a certain way it never really fully looked that way <laughs> but you know what um i'm actually pretty happy with it um it came out less splotchy than a previous um uh attempt i made On a separate uh, page, I'll probably show that um, in the community tab at some point as a blooper, maybe because I'm gonna redo that page because the everything came out so well until I got to the face, and then the face was just womp womp. <laughs> it was horrible, and so um, yeah, I I was very upset about that. Uh, but this one came out well. So what I think I'm going to do um, the next time is really start with my darker color and then light it, go lighter. And just have to map out where I want my lights to be. And maybe that will work better um, than 
the splotchiness that I and the lifting that I um, experience with watercolor because I haven't figured that part out yet. And then, of course, I gave her red lips. <laughs> and that is it. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I appreciate you all. Bye.